What is active listening? And why is it important for you as a leader to be an active listener? In this video, I'll show you some of the ways that you can use active listening so that you can constantly improve the communication with your team. Active listening is a way of listening and responding to another person that improves mutual understanding. It involves some senses like listening from your ears, listening from the heart, and listening from the visuals. That means you are observing and hearing what the speaker is saying through the verbal and non-verbal cues, like for example, the words that this speaker keep on emphasizing during the conversation and also the tonality, the body gesture, the facial expressions. By being an active listener, you are not just listening to the words that the speaker says. You need to understand and hear the meaning why the speaker speak in this way. To improve communication in the workplace, it is important for you as a leader to practice active listening so that you can gain trust, building relationship with your team and motivate them to work towards the organization goal. Now, what are the ways that you can practice active listening? Number one is during the conversation, you need to pay 100% attention to your speaker. That means you need to observe and hear what are the words that this speaker is saying. Why are they using that tonality? And what are the body gestures, the facial expressions, the emotions that came up during the conversation instead of rather than thinking what you will say next. So it is important for you as a leader to stay focused and listen to what the speaker is saying so that they will feel being heard, that you are understanding them. Number two is as a leader, you need to show that you are listening to your employee. For example, you can use some of the non-verbal cues like maintaining eye contact, leaning forward, nodding your head, smile as your employee is speaking. Because by doing that, you're actually demonstrating that you are engaged in their conversation by being fully present in front of them. Number three is you need to avoid interrupting during that conversation with your employee. Sometimes as a leader, you may be eager to jump into that conversation by giving advice and solution to them. But that may not be helpful to the employee because you are holding them back from sharing their own thoughts and opinions. So that's why it is important for you to take a step back and listen and let the employee finish their thoughts before you respond. Number four is ask good and thoughtful questions and remain silent to let the speaker speak. By doing that, you are actually giving them the space to share their thoughts, opinions about that situation that they are facing. So instead of jumping into giving advice to them, you can always respond by repeating what the speaker is saying to ensure that you understand their message. Number five is you need to show empathy by listening from your employee's perspective. That means to understand how they see their world. How are they feeling at the moment? What are the words that they keep on using during the conversation? And what are the emotions that came out? So by showing empathy to your employee, you can practice active listening by taking a step back to really understand how are they feeling during the conversation before you respond. I hope this video is useful for you to understand why being an active listener is so critical as a leader and how do you practice active listening in your workplace so that you can always improve your communication with your team. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to subscribe and leave me a comment below to share with me what are the new topics that you are interested with so that I can do more of this video just to benefit you. And do remember to practice active listening in your workplace so that you can become a more effective leader.